Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious macaroni and cheese bites using leftover macaroni and cheese. Okay, this is very simple, very delicious and so easy to make. All right, so you'll just need a half cup of flour, a half cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs and two eggs lightly beaten. You're going to season your flour with Cajun seasoning and make sure you season it to taste. You'll need approximately two and a half cups of cold leftover mac and cheese. Now, if your macaroni and cheese is a little too stiff to work with, just try heating it up in the microwave only for about 30 seconds. Okay, and so you're just going to break off some of the macaroni and cheese and form it into a ball like this. Now, you should at least be able to make about six balls total and you can place them on top of um, a parchment lined baking sheet and you need to freeze for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, make sure you let them thaw for five to seven minutes before you begin the breading. OK, and to bread them, of course, you know, you want to do as shown here. You're going to first coat with the seasoned flour, then dip into the egg wash and fully coat it. And then last, you want to dip it into the seasoned breadcrumbs. OK, now go ahead and repeat until all of your macaroni and cheese uh, balls are breaded. OK, and we are going to deep fry these mac and, mac and cheese balls in either vegetable or canola oil and you want to heat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to let these cook for about four to five minutes. When you deep fry your mac and cheese bites, if they're not fully submerged, as you can see mine were not, then you'll need to rotate them just to ensure that they are cooking evenly. Okay. And once they are done, they should be nice and golden brown and crispy, just like this. Now, before you serve them, you want to be sure to just let them rest for, I would say, a couple of seconds on top of some paper towels just to get rid of uh, any excess oil. You can just take some paper towels and just blot them a little bit. I added some fresh grated Parmesan cheese on top of my mac and cheese bites along with some chopped Italian parsley for presentation. So these are great options uh, when it comes to serving them. These were so, so good. I highly recommend you make these, okay? And if you don't have any leftover macaroni and cheese to make the mac and cheese bites, that's okay. You can just simply go make some macaroni and cheese. I will link a recipe up above. So let me know if you're going to make the mac and cheese bites. And if you do, let me know how yours turn out as always. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye.